Hello and welcome to episode 77 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you a third party mail application that works really well with Todoist in that you can actually send emails directly to Todoist from just a simple menu bar. And in this episode, I just want to be able to give you another option for third party applications, something that talks really well with Todoist. Uh, and that if you really like simplicity, which I do, Newton Mail is the ideal mail application for you. So in this particular example, I've got uh, when I when I downloaded Newton and I set it up, uh, this is the uh, welcome email that I got from Rohit. Uh, to say thank you basically for uh, downloading the uh, email application and basically what Newton does is it adds some useful features and some of these I don't actually use things like read receipts, snooze, send later. Actually send later is something that I do use. I, I do have an email that I need to send out at 7 a.m. every morning and basically what I do is I leave my computer on overnight and just before I leave the house in the morning, I send that email. This is what I would do using uh, the built-in app mail application on my computer. However, with Newton Mail, I can actually set the time at 7 a.m. the next morning. I can then go just leave everything as it is and I know that the email is going to send. I tested that this, this week and sure enough, it works beautifully. Um, you can do undo send, which is again I, uh, something I don't generally use, but you can use. But the one that I do use is what is called connected apps. And connected apps means that, well, if I click on here, you can see what I've done. I've connected uh, my Evernote and my Todoist to the connected apps uh, part. Now, the beauty of this is, let's say, for example, uh, I've got I usually get about 40 or 50 emails in my inbox when I wake up in the morning. While I'm drinking my coffee, I usually go through them, send them off to my, uh, actually I'll show you because uh, for those of you who know, uh, who read my uh, recent blog post on how I organize my email, we have, uh, I have basically two main folders here, action this day, waiting for, and I also have an archive, which is not actually showing at the moment, but there we go. Uh, it, there is an archive which I can send emails to as well. So uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to uh, send this email to my Action This Day folder. I can just click on that. Boom, off it goes. But before I do that, I need to remind myself about this and it will go to my Todoist. So what I need to do is just go down to Todoist, click on it. What this will do is it will show me what's going to show up in the um, in my inbox. So here we've got Welcome to Newton. So let's just say I can change that and say Reply to Newton email. Um, I can then look at the notes, which is basically what the um, the email says. So I don't need to change anything there. Um, because I know where my inbox is, all mine go to inbox, but you can actually assign any project you wish. I always send to inbox, so inbox and I my inbox are never going to be priority one, so I'd set it priority four. To be fair to Newton, it would be nice if we could set the, the, um, the default there it was pri for the priority we wish, but hey who's complaining I'm certainly not complaining once you've done that you can add a date if you wish but because I always check my inbox I can then just send add task so that's just going to send off bang off it goes it's gone I can then move this to my action this day folder bang that's gone now if I go into my inbox uh, sure enough here it is reply to Newton mail has just come into my inbox I can then click on that and sure enough, everything is there. This is clickable if I wish to do that, <coughs> if I want to go. And one of the beauties of Evernote, of his, uh, sorry, one of the beauties of Todoist is Todoist actually allows, uh, changes that to what, instead of the email address, it actually gives me exactly the name of the, of the video. So to me, that is a really, really cool way of um, saving emails. And I really, really love that about Newton. I think Newton is great simply because it actually has that beautiful on a, on my on my laptop here. I mean, it just looks fantastic, and I can actually use this um, quite 
smoothly as my main email account. So there you go. That is Newton Mail working with Todoist. So just to show you that again, if I go into my archive, because I have lots of archive, um, <laughs> I reset my password because I use uh, one password and it was didn't work first time around, so I had to reset my uh, password. That wasn't a fault of Newton. That was actually a fault of one password. Um, one of the things that I can do now is if I click on the three dots uh, again, you, you click on the three dots to the, at the side of the name and then you can go down to Todoist and you can click on that. And as I say, I love the simplicity of this. Shame about the logo. It would be nice to get the new Todoist logo. I can change the task name so it really helps me to uh, focus in on what I actually have to do. I select the project. Now, I don't know why this is upside down. Maybe that's just the way I set it up, but I know that inbox is at the bottom, so that's cool. I can just scroll right down to the bottom, click on inbox. Uh, I just set the priority at four, which I can be done quickly. If I want to add a date, I can add a date, bang, and off, and add the task. And it's super fast. As I say, I've just given it a few seconds. I move over to my Todoist um, screen here, and there you go, it's already in. So it's super fast, it works really well with Todoist. And for those of you who can allocate emails, and I can see a point here where I might want to set this, um, let's say this is to do with a project that I'm working on, it's a reference email, I just need it for reference. Well, the beauty of this is I can just add it to whichever project I want and I can put in the key information as and when I require it. So I think that's a really, really nice uh, feature in Newton Mail. So if you're looking for a simple email application that works not only on your desktop but also works on your cell phone, um, what Newton does is it saves your preferences across all your devices so you're not having to re-input everything. Um, this was something that I found Newton was much better at than Airmail that I used before because with Airmail I had to re- Although it does sync your preferences, it doesn't sync your email accounts. And I had to re-enter my email accounts, uh, details, passwords, and everything else. And I found that a bit of a pain when setting things up. Newton doesn't do that. It saves everything across the platform. And I found, oh, so far in the week that I've been using it, I found it really, really nice experience. And for me, it's not just about the features. It's more about the experience of using something. If I enjoy using something, if I find it a pleasure, then I'm more likely to use it, and in this case, I would do. So that's Newton Mail working with um, Todoist. I, I think it, it's just such a seamless um, work, work together that uh, I really do admire apps that, that get themselves sorted out and working with it. And it's all part of your workflow. So I think, there you go. I would recommend Newton Mail, particularly for those of you guys who want that simplicity. Just to give you uh, an idea, the, my YouTube channel obviously is about Todoist. If you want more details on how Newton Mail works in general, then I strongly recommend Francesco D'Alesso's video on this. And I'll put a link to that in the notes below so that you can go and watch Francesco's video on Newton Mail which, which covers a little bit more detail on how it works on iOS and on your phone. <clears throat> okay, that's it for episode 77. I hope you found this useful, particularly for those of you guys who are still looking for that perfect email system. Newton Mail, you can add that to your list. It is very good and works really well with both Evernote and Todoist. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you have a very, very um, productive week and I will see you in the next episode.